you raise the issue of uh, new technology in this campaign. But please, uh, first of all, please allow me to make clear that I don't think it's new technology that rely on to bring the situation under control. I think we bring the situation control because we are still following the classic theory of epidemiology, which is control the source of infection, cut down the spread route, and protect those susceptible population. But on the other hand, in terms of new technology, I'm glad to share with you that our experience is that by utilizing the Generation 5 network, we have established a virtual online consultation system. So we routinely have those online meetings uh, with uh, experts in PMC hospital back in Beijing. So we can discuss some difficult and complicated cases with them, almost face to face. So I think this enables us to provide high quality care to all of our patients. And also in our daily practice, we routinely use mechanical ventilation, bedside ultrasonography, continuous renal replacement therapy. So I think these new technologies will give us more weapons or opportunities to fight the coronavirus and protect people. Thank you. May I have a few words? That the, uh, apart from what Dr. Wu said, that as far as I know, that the uh, teleconference with doctors and experts back into their mother hospital, I mean, a few mi uh, uh, thousands of miles away, is a common practice within each national medical team here in Wuhan or in other cities in Hubei. You know, so this is uh, number one. And number two, the so-called virtual hospital or virtual medical care system is not only for us, for the doctors, but also for the patients. Whenever the patients are advised to stay at home, it's patients with other diseases, other than COVID-19, especially in epicenters like Wuhan or other cities in Hubei, that they are advised, they are advised to stay at home. But however, whenever they think they can, they, there is any need to see for medical advice, medical care, they can get access to the doctors through the virtual hospital or medical care apps. And the third, as far as I know, some of the investigators are now they are trying to do some research that, in, uh, that with the use of the variable devices, then for those patients who are asked to do the home isolation, home quarantine, that some kind of the uh, you know, artificial intelligence will tell whether or not they, what is the probability that they have the COVID-19 or the disease progression, and when is the right time to go to see the doctor. All you should be okay to continue to stay at home. Thanks.